This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the Awesome Cast, and I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, very long producer Missy is here, of course, but mostly it is us. Everybody's electing to stay home. I wonder why. Um, it's not me. I swear a shower, guys. Uh, but anyways, we have a we have, we have a hell of a crew with us, one way or another. Uh, first of all, as always, with us from uh, Big Bang Fancy Pants International. Our tech guru, uh, uh, John Chichilla, is with us. How's it going? Hey, I, yeah. I, I, you know, I'm having a hard time trying to discern. I, I, losing track of my uh, daytime sweatpants versus my evening sweatpants. <laughs> you change it for the mood, right? This is yes. the happy. Like, <laughs> uh yeah yeah welcome to it like this is the stuff i was figuring out in 2011 uh working from home you're like <laughs> and i love that that we're just like okay guys yeah make sure you change your sweatpants what was it what was the tip i saw today make sure you change your shirt so they between uh your call yesterday with your associates and your call today with your associates uh <laughs> so you know it's really important guys also back on the show she's our in-house uh bounty hunter unicorn <laughs> this is what that's the daughter is how you doing good i'm wearing i don't know if you can see the leprechaun pants and <laughs> <laughs> there you go like you, you see you got the green i got the green i got my ninja turtles hoodie i got my uh thrifty shirt uh representing us our, our friends in the podcast world you know I, we were going to celebrate in our own ways right yes so <laughs> i don't know where i'm going to get green beer but uh i think that's out for this one so and also we have a guest this week as well ryan haggerty is joining us he's talked with us back he, he's the only one here that's done a movie i think <laughs> so yes all kinds of movie things going on uh my light is probably not showing this is great oh there we go that oh, is oh there you go you got a, you got the green so there's a there's a nice pa mix there of trogues and doodoos so supporting local during all this but Fantastic. uh yeah Here's to everybody making it out for the show. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Of course, uh, Haggard and Media, uh, doing a lot of great stuff. We worked with a lot of great uh, projects together over there with Work Hard Pittsburgh and uh, holding it down over there through everything crazy, right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's cool to see people still doing podcasts and like getting things going because everybody's homebound. So this is like <laughs> it's it's gonna be gonna be a, a different time, I think, for uh, people putting out shows. It'll be fun. Hey, it's like we've been prepared for this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But we're going to have some fun here uh, with some stuff going on in the world. I see you guys out in the chat room. Thank you for joining us over on the Facebook page over there, including Dave Potter. I see out there. I see Scott McTaggart. And I see you in the in the document as well. So stick around for a little bit, Scott. Uh, Steve's out there. I know they're doing their, um, their, their uh, uh, online bartender stream earlier uh, via Zoom. Uh, that they, uh, so go check that out as well. And drop a link in there, Steve, if uh, if you can, to what you guys have been working on, because uh, I can't remember the name of it right off the top of my head. Uh, I want to make sure you guys get some plugs. Uh, so, anyways, please go check out everything at awesomecast.com. You can uh, check out this and past episodes, some old interviews that we've done over the years uh, over there. You can subscribe to us on your iTunes or your favorite podcast uh, uh, catcher. Please rate and review us so more people can find the Awesome Cast and let people know what you think about what's going on here. Hit us up, uh, tweet us at Awesome Cast, and uh, like I said, hit up the Facebook page where we do go live streaming every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And you can join us here in the chat room. We're, of course, multicasting on some other formats, including Twitter, Twitch for Sorgatron Media, and over on our YouTube page for Awesome Cast. Uh, but, of course, the big uh, chat room is happening over there on the Facebook page. Uh, so we uh, welcome you to join. But I know a lot of everybody's on Facebook. If you're catching us on your Chromecast or something and want to watch that way, want to make sure we're flexible for you guys as well. If you want to join the conversation later 
later on, uh, please uh, tweet us at AwesomeCast and with the hashtag AC486 uh, so we can continue the conversation for this episode. And please also consider joining the AwesomeCast Facebook group with a lot of uh, stories throughout the week and discussions. And we do bring a lot of your stories into the show to become part of the conversation. Uh, thank you to our audio partners, our friends at the 404, 405media.com that are still streaming us every weekday at noon Eastern time, and our friends at postindustrial.com uh, for postindustrial audio that are uh, carrying us and sharing some great stuff uh, in the podcast, uh, Pittsburgh podcasting world. <laughs> I need to get all my P's straight, apparently. Mm-hmm. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. Uh, uh, patreon.com slash awesomecast our friends at the coffee club level Matt Weller John Diggy DeGore and John Carmen as well as our friends at the fan of the show level Dutter's favorite Fedor Michael Fedor and our friends at pghmuseums.org mm-hmm. and, uh, and again you guys can support us too if you like what's going on here and want to put a couple in uh, to now with everything going on literally keep the lights on maybe uh, over at patreon.com slash awesomecast all right, guys, I'm going to catch my breath, and somebody's going to tell me their awesome thing of the week. Katie, uh, since we haven't had you on for, for a bit, uh, it, it's, it's catch-up time a little bit. Yeah. You, you, you got a Nintendo Switch. Everybody saw the I unboxing did. video that we shared, and <laughs> you just, you're, filling, you're, you're already in this filling time before we all joined you. Yes. Welcome to the hell that is trying to fill time at your own house yes. <laughs> and not losing your mind because I've, I've, I'm in the future. I'm a, I'm a few weeks in the future. Yes. Um, already been contained at home for a few You've weeks. been avoiding infect- infectious diseases longer than the rest of us. Yes. Welcome. <laughs> you will eventually lose your mind. It's great. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I'm super looking forward to Animal Crossing because I, one, I love the game Animal Crossing and I have a Switch now and um, I'm, I can't wait to just like lose myself in some farming and some fishing and <laughs> setting up my house. Out in nature. I know. It'll be so nice. And then I think looking like the online capabilities, we should be able to visit each other's houses. It kind of looks like our little setups, mm-hmm. but that's... I'm. So I'm looking forward to that because I think so. My brother is going to buy it too. So my niece will become be able to come and terrorize my my little setup. I'm sure my brother will probably teach her how to pick all of my fruit and do all, whatever you know, whatever havoc she can <laughs> wreak upon me. So, so I live well into the past and have never played Animal Crossing. So, so what is the, so you can visit other people's places and then what you try to loot it. <laughs> <laughs> i'm only hoping we, we kind of got the, the experience with the um the app on the iphone or i think it was, was it on Android yeah. yeah i think it did yeah it came out on ios so is it so can you work do you work together or do you try to work against each other i'm i'm, I, I'm thinking both like i don't i don't know if it's as much like a cooperative is like you just kind of visit and you can you know take things from my area you not like steal things but like i might have a tree so you can get fruit or yeah. pick my crops <laughs> so your your mobile version it was more or less like you build your house your 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 area for your friends to go and then i think you could visit your friends spaces correct yeah so mm-hmm. but of course like the, the the switch game should expand on that a little bit right that's that's what i'm thinking like i'm just you know what i mean like it, it's kind of not, I want to be like vague, but it seems kind of vague of like the capabilities we'll be able to do online. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping, you know, a lot more interactive. Share your paradise. Show up your island to your family and friends. Or- <laughs> so, so I, I, Katie, I, I think I remember you're the one, weren't you the one that introduced Animal Crossing to me f- with being excited about the, uh, the, the iPhone one coming soon? Like, were you, do you have experience in the previous Animal Crossing games? No, I, I, I seen them. I, I knew friends that- played and they were real excited about it and then mm. i started playing on my phone and i was like this is wonderful this is such <laughs> like calming brainless fun like tasking you know? yeah yeah <laughs> yeah right it's colorful everybody's happy mm-hmm. this is gonna be my utopia for a bit <laughs> just gonna live in this so i, I heard you said you're gonna get sims on on switch as well uh, uh too so yeah and i'm gonna have to figure out i'm gonna have to get another system so I can get the GTA. GTA. <laughs> to balance out the Animal Crossing. <laughs> but like San Andreas. Like I don't want the ones where you make me have to do the missions. I want nothing to do with missions. I just well, want to run around and crash cars and run over people. Do you, do you have an iPad? I do not. Oh, uh, well, you can get it. I think you can get San Andreas on iOS. Yeah, you can get that. Ooh. And it actually supports controller. So 
Yeah, you honestly, can hook up a controller to it. Getting a controller because I have three on my uh, on my iPhone, and uh, it's just like playing <laughs> like a higher end PlayStation Two version of it. So, and it's they're like five bucks on there. Of course, if you get like a play uh, Xbox controller or something, like it's pretty good. And then the iOS uh, the iOS controllers are pretty much the same price. So. Nice. Are, yeah. are there any platforms that support like an Animal Crossing mod or DLC for Grand Theft Auto? Because that's the platform. <laughs> yeah. Can we bring these together? Yeah. Oh, they, yeah. Can, 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 can you? Can you just steal the tractor from your friend's farm and run over there with it? <laughs> you know. <laughs> is there is there online gambling like on uh, Animal Animal or like on GTA or something? <laughs> so. Are there are there naughty Animal Crossing? Uh, uh, is there a hot coffee patch? <laughs> is there a hot coffee patch for Animal Crossing? <laughs> oh jeez! <laughs> Katie, let it, Katie report back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, speaking of video games, for your time off, Ryan, you hit me up a, a week ago uh, because there was a, a, another mobile announcement that you were really excited about. That's probably just in time for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm an, I'm an old nerd. Uh, I played. Uh, a lot of Castlevania games growing up, and then uh, we were just talking about this as the show was starting. Got the Castlevania Symphony of the Night for PlayStation One uh, mm-hmm. back in the day when you had to have your little memory card to plug in and save your game, your disc game, and all that. And uh, it's a game that you know is really rare now and worth a lot of money. And unfortunately, uh, I let somebody borrow it back in the day and don't don't have it anymore. But um, lo and behold. Out of nowhere, I think this maybe coincided with the Netflix series of why they did this. It's mm-hmm. like a new season of Castlevania, but uh, they announced an Android iOS version of the whole game for three dollars. <laughs> and uh, as Chilla was pointing out, like on iPad, uh, this does support like a little game controller. So I basically, uh, I don't know if I have my little rig, but I have like a Gorilla Pod with a smartphone holder and a uh, Switch Classic controller through Bluetooth. Nice, and that's like my my hardcore like little Android gaming uh, setup. So you know, I think I think that's the thing. Like, the, it's really cool. The games are coming out on these systems, and uh, it's it's complete. Like, it's got everything in there. There's like all these old versions of the game that it kind of includes different features, like playing with different characters and things like that. Um, but just figuring out like how are you going to play this comfortably and have like a good you know, control interface and all that is kind of left up to the user. So, so this is something we've been talking about uh, at last several, uh, probably about a month or so. And, and most of us have bought the, um, um, you know, some of those clips that you can put the controller on. Uh, and I, I've been playing a lot of it, including like Call of Duty Fortnite on, on my uh, iPhone uh, 8 Plus. And, and I know, Chilla, you're the one that, that got me into it with our Xbox controllers. And, and that's been kind of a fun thing. Uh, going on, so I didn't know. This, so the classic Switch controller works with the Android. Is that correct? Yeah, I think uh, what I read was maybe Android ten or higher. You just go on, and like mine says, like Pro Controller pops up. Right, right. And I don't know if there's any way to download an app to like remap the buttons necessarily, but they're pretty much where they were on the game when I played it before. Yeah, for most this game. most of the controllers, like I'm noticing that with um, like if I'm playing. To the point where when I'm playing the Batman uh, Telltale game on my phone, it maps everything to look like Xbox buttons. So oh, like okay. it actually does a one to one. Now now iOS has specific um, PlayStation and Xbox. So I wonder if for maybe Katie's solution over there, um, if a classic uh, Nintendo Switch controller is going to work with an iPhone at some po- point. And then, I mean, that that kind of fits for what you have going on over there. So you're at least like, that's why I love like buying a controller for the console. So like, cool, I have an extra controller for my console. It's not just for my phone, right? Yeah, and, and I would wonder, so you guys say you have a clip with a controller and what, the phone is above the controller and yeah. you're just yeah. supporting the weight the whole time? Yeah, pretty much. It looks kind of like if you've ever seen an NVIDIA Shield, where it's a yeah. controller with the screen that flips up that's kind of an Android device. Like it, It's like that. And it really it really gets kind of comfortable uh, in the long run. And also easy to um, watch movies when you're holding it, so you don't drop the phone on your face when you get tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not... Nobody does that. Uh, just, you know, just in case. Just in case you like some nighttime watching in bed and, and, and then drop your phone on your face or your iPad on your wife or something, you know, things happen. Things happen. But um, I will say this is probably the first mobile game that was like, you know, brought over from another platform that I thought they 
just like it was just like playing the game that I remember. Mm-hmm. You know, I think I think sometimes uh, you know they struggle to bring that over and make it work from the small screen. But yeah, I was curious if anybody else had anything they had played on mobile where they were like, yes, <laughs> somebody got it right. Um, really, so the Sonic games have been good. Like the Sega Ages games have been good. Um, you know, th- those kind of classic games. Um, that's been the biggest thing for me. Chill out. Have you you been touching on anything lately? I I haven't, but I actually I want to. Oh, what's the kind of Zelda like game on Apple Arcade? Oh, Ocean o- Oceana or whatever it is. Okay. To Ocean Horn. Yes, I think it's Ocean Horn. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's the one kind of cool things that I thought for. Apple's really seems to be doubling down on the controller support. Yes. And then with Apple Arcade, I think there's over a hundred games in there now. I can so, I cannot play Skate City without the controller. It makes no sense without a controller to me. Huh. Yeah. I, I haven't played that one yet. I know I want to play what the golf. There's there's a there's a mm. short list growing of things that that I want to play over there. And I feel like they're getting those ones right because they won't add it to the arcade unless it's well done. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sneaky Sasquatch is good. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's been the biggest thing. Like, it really makes your phone like on the iOS side, so it doesn't help Ryan out too much. But it, it, it like on our side, like it's it's really is a nice ecosystem of games and kind of like those quirky indie games, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, and I think some of them, some of these games are not entirely exclusive. So I think some of them may be in invi- like I've seen some of these games on Steam um, as mm-hmm. well. So I'm sure some of them are making their way over to uh, uh, Android as well, Ryan. So yeah, but. yeah. If more bring more and make all of them three dollars or less, it'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> all um, day long. Uh, Katie, are you playing anything on your phone that's sticking out to you? No, like, I had to try to think. I was like, no, there's nothing really I've been playing on my phone. No, you got to switch. That I could... You got to switch. You're fine for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I think she is playing Switch right now. Yeah, she, she might. Be. <laughs> no, you, one, so one of the cats, there's there's a gaggle of cats here, and he keeps jumping like from behind the camera over to here. <laughs> and like every time you switch cameras, he's like in the background, like his butt's over here. There's one. There, I don't know. There's one yep. there. Yep. There's nice. a cat butt. There, there's a cat butt. There's a cat butt looking at me over here. Awesome. All uh, right, I know you got a couple of things in here. Like I'm going to touch base on a, a little bit of them uh, uh, later in the show as well. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Uh, Chilla, what's your awesome thing? I so, think he, so I think your awesome thing's hanging out in the chat room. Is he? I, and I apologize because I don't have the chat room open. That's fine. We got. Um, it. So, so our friend of the show, Scott McTaggart, um, started a thread yesterday that I picked up on the Facebooks, and he's actually started a Zoom. Um, daily meeting along with a Slack channel. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get into the Zoom conference because I've been booked through lunch and um, I'm on the phone most of the time, so it's not as as beneficial. But the Slack channel, even when I've been able to duck in there, mm-hmm. has definitely kept my spirits up while I'm kind of stuck in the bunker um, mm-hmm. and and protecting uh, myself from from the viruses out in the real world. Um, and I actually, I thought it was a good idea. Um, it, it's nice to just throughout the day being, be able to kind of reach out socially while I may not be able to go out to lunch like I normally would with, with someone at work or even sit across from someone um, and just kind of shoot just verbally back and forth. Um, it's It's been nice to be able to duck in there and kind of see other people make a couple comments, duck back out as needed um, to the point where I'm actually wondering, should I, I even start at work kind of like a, Hey, at lunchtime, uh, here's a, here's a room, a virtual room, go in, fire up your video camera, um, go in, talk kind of like a, the, the around the coffee maker or around the water cooler type conversation. Um, I think some of us, for some of us in the tech sector, it's a little rough right now, but as we hopefully get into week one and it doesn't last much, too much longer than, you know, week two, three, four, eight, ten, whatever, um, hopefully there'll be definite time to kind of create that same same type of experience that you, you kind of have going into an office. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know what it's been like for you, um, but for me, it's it, there is definite times where it's it's you're just in a room by yourself. Yeah, you're on the phone, but there's no one really else around. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, for me, not much has changed. I'm just, I just still mess with my wife when I'm getting bored. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so she's the desk next to me. But, uh, but, uh, uh, uh Ryan, have, have you been dealing with this? How, how many? Well, how how many days have you been uh, extricated extricated from society uh, uh, for this? Uh, I mean, today was probably the first day I really stayed home for the most part. I did brave uh, the hill and went up to shop and save <laughs> and like thought the, you know, the most about cleaning, like everything I touched and I probably thought in my life uh, when I got back. But yeah, uh, I have two cats here and a fiance <laughs> today who's been working from home and I, we didn't kill each other day one. So we survived. Oh, good. So, oh, good. Yeah, that's the, that's the positive that came out of today. We learned how to live together, but no, I, I will say uh, the first call meeting that I had, I was actually a work hard like committee meeting. Uh, people were like talking about a million different things and you could tell everybody was like in a different place with their day. Yes. But it was also nice just to talk to people and that's kind of what it turned into is people were just like talking about what they're up to eventually. Yeah, and I think this is important. Maybe like it work hard, you know, I, I know that I've seen the riot going all day today too because there, there's a Slack-ish thing with, with oh. that at work hard. It's had a lot of conversation. Um, I will mention too, uh, our academy class is just these next two weeks at least will be all online and they nice. had to figure that out over the weekend. John Lang and the LFG and Gene and all them. So, so yeah, there's online classes happening right now as part of like a thing that I do that uh, wasn't really planned. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it was planned to the best of everyone's ability, but that's not what everybody thought that we would do. It is a little bit of like, can we do this? Well, let's figure it out. You know, kind of a forced, forced uh, application thing. But, but I think, I think a lot of people are going to come out better for it in the end because now, mm-hmm. like, so many people are going to have this new skill and flexibility. Oh, hundred uh, percent. The the one thing I miss is being at work. At least there's a couple people you can whiteboard an idea out with. Mm-hmm. Um, we we are kind of limited in our tool sets that we're allowed to use. So that's the one thing I feel like I'm missing is a good whiteboarding tool. I mean, I can screen share, I can, um, I can, I can build a PowerPoint. I can have a video conference. I can, I mean, the phone's always there. Um, but when it comes to kind of like that collaborative exercise of whiteboarding, and that's where I'm hoping, you know, the company I work for, we can do something like a Microsoft whiteboard, or I, there's, I know there's applications like Mural out there that allow for that virtual whiteboarding where you see everyone's kind of cursor moving around and it crosses whatever touchscreen device that you want to use iOS or Android. But that's the one thing that I definitely miss is a nice big whiteboard. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. So I got something to help you, uh, another tool to help you keep the community going. Cause maybe, you know, if you don't have anybody to watch your Netflix with, like I was, uh, kind of, uh, wish I had somebody to help me decipher how the ending to, uh, season two of altered carbon last night when I was going through that. And, uh, whoop, I keep hitting my box. Sorry about that. Uh, for the video there, but, uh, I, I saw one pop up in my news feed today. It's a uh, Netflix party at netflixparty.com. I, I am concerned that maybe this won't last too long because it's kind of integrating Netflix into something else. So if you go here and you um, uh, get the app, web app, or whatever the case may be, I haven't played with it yet. I need friends to watch uh, my Stranger Things with or something for this. Or maybe we can watch the Castlevania together, Ryan. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but you, you log in and there's a chat room beside your into the spider verse or whatever you're watching. So, and, and presumably it's going to sync along with the Netflix, uh, accounts, what you're watching in order to, um, you create your party, you open a video on Netflix, um, choose the show. And now you guys are in the chat room together side by side in browser, of course, uh, for this so i don't know if this you know it's not going to work well if you're like on your apple tv or roku trying to do it but it's like i missed this feature there used to be a version of this in xbox xbox 360 where you were like in a theater and you had your little avatars and you could throw up little like have a headset on and, and, and throw up little um um uh, actions with your avatar uh and they took it away even before the 360 went out of style so i i kind of like this um return to you know obviously we see that with watch parties on facebook um, you know, maybe a little bit with, uh, uh, YouTube as well with chat rooms and kind of live watching stuff. But, uh, but you know, that's a cool way to, uh, uh, kind of pull that around. I don't know. Do you guys see like kind of doing this with, uh, 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 you know, when the new thing comes out? 
over there on Netflix? I, I could see it being fun. What I would worry is, do you watch it one time through as a like separately? Like, I don't want to be that person in the movie theater that's talking through the whole. Well, it's movie. a chat room. It's a chat room. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, more if you're watching like a reality show or something mm. than a movie with details and subtitles and all that kind of thing. Yeah, I think that wherever there's a fandom, there's a, use, a, a need for that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What would be cool is if they had a way for you to, like there was a public chat. Like, yeah, you could go off with your friends, but also, you know, if if you could, if they had almost, I don't want to call it set times, is it like a movie theater, but, you know, every every 15 minutes, a a new chat room spun up and kind of synced up to where you were in the movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that would be pretty cool to kind of maybe, maybe I don't know anyone that watches whatever show I'm watching and I could find a new um, friend to kind of converse with back and forth on, on, on something that I'm particularly interested in. Yeah. It's like the waiting room for your online multiplayer game. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd be willing to to kind of delay start something by five or ten minutes if I could converse back and forth with someone on it. Excellent. So, hey, I want to drop back into the chat room here uh, real quick because we had some some responses. Uh, Buzzy is playing some Mario Kart, uh, presumably be on the phone, I think. Uh, I have not dived in since they put the multiplayer out. It's kind of perfect timing, isn't it? Because I think they just launched that last week on Mario Day. Yeah, March 10th. Mm. On Mario Day, I think they rolled out the the open multiplayer. So it might be a good uh, time to return to that. And I think Potter was saying, also the stand-up meetings where we can quickly share something and throw ideas back and forth was one thing he was talking about when you were talking about the online meetings idea, Chilla. So... And uh, Scott's putting uh, links in there too, and we'll make sure we can share it on our side on Awesome Cast in the notes, maybe uh, for those Zoom meetings with uh, Scott there. So, okay, well, hey, you, there's there's a lot going on, guys, and and you got a lot of time, and and you know maybe you should treat yourself. One of the big things, uh, uh you know, to consider because a lot of uh, uh, small businesses, please support. Um, I know there's been a lot about, uh, you know, I know here in our state, and I think I think in a lot of places. Uh, there's uh, no dining in, so you know delivery and takeout is still a thing, and that includes our good friends that have been supporting this show for a long time. So especially in this time, we want to support them and remind you of our friends at SliceOnBroadway.com. So you know what makes uh, Podcast Day even better during this quarantine? Uh, the perfect pepperoni pizza from uh, Slice on Broadway. Uh, you can't eat it, eat in as an option, but you can uh, you can and should order some takeout or delivery. If you're in the Pits- greater Pittsburgh area, yeah, probably in delivery or at least in an Uber Eats connector with that. They do Grubhub, they do DoorDash, they do everything, whatever you're comfortable with. If you don't like to pick up a phone, I know I don't a lot to, to, to order my food, especially when I'm out and about, but they're in Beachview, Carnegie, PA, East End, and PNC Park. Please go check them out, sliceonbroadway.com, and support. And, and not just Slice, please support whatever your local eatery is, especially in this time. If you are able, of course, a lot of people in different situations um, through this week, uh, that they've just discovered probably today or yes, yesterday. Uh, so, but if you are able, please support those um, to make sure uh, we can all get through this together. So, our friends at Slice on Broadway. They, yeah, they, thank you for holding that pizza up to the mic earlier. I just <laughs> can you smell it through the internet? <laughs> they, they, they serve they serve beer there, don't mm. they? Uh, they do. They do. So they, so. May, they may be one of your last places to be able to get alcohol <laughs> that's right there's some carry out service at least here at the beach view location i can't verify uh, all the other ones but i know they do have it here i think in uh, in i think it's mostly across the board but uh, again if anybody else can qualify that call and ask or tweet them at pgh underscore slice on the twitter hey want to give a shout out we're talking about the old school video games ryan i don't know if you check this one out um our buddy chachi has been doing this game this uh site for a while that he's been working on uh, thegamejourney.com. He's going through a book, uh, One Man, 1001 Games, 1001 Reviews, and just to check in on him, he's deep into the uh, mobile games right now. Some game called Anno 1701 Dawn of Discovery, but that's okay. He's also doing the uh, the re-release of uh, Link's Awakening for mobile. Um, the uh, the uh, that was the uh, the uh, Game Boy, the, the original Game Boy Zelda, I believe, uh, that they uh, redid recently. 
So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's awesome. So where did where, where is his progress at, or how? Many so is this is at? over at thegamejourney.com. He's reviewing the games and he's linking anywhere. If you want to uh, dive into some of these um, classic games, he is including those, including some of them that might be on the Internet Archive as well. Uh, he's been doing Mario Kart Super Circuit, another I believe DS, maybe advanced game over there too. I think we're mostly in uh, uh, DS advanced. We were talking about Yoshi's Touch and Go last week, so go check that out, thegamejourney.com, to see see how that is, and uh, and any of your comments on games as well, because he's he's got a Facebook page, Twitter, uh, as well, so you can go along on the journey with him. I so. uh, this is my new hero. <laughs> yes he's doing the, he's playing through a thousand one games so you don't have to <laughs> so, <laughs> um amanda uh last week uh i'm sorry in this past week she shared of course being the apple store person um she she reminded us that uh, apple has shared how to clean your apple product because everybody's really concerned. I've been taking a, a uh, alcohol wipe every couple of days to my phone. <laughs> so uh, to the case, not the phone itself, just to be, be safe. But, you know, again, like it's kind of a, like, I think it may be a little overly um, um, cautious. Or maybe it's just because I have a case. Like it, it, it's telling me to use soft, lint-free cloths like my camera lens, apparently. Avoid cloths, towels, paper towels, things like that. Excessive, avoid excessive wiping. Um, so there is, if you're concerned about having your Apple product um, cleaned, is it okay to use disinfectant on my Apple product? Um, and they have uh, the 70% isopropyl alcohol wipe or Clorox, Clorox disinfectant wipes. Those are okay. I'm good. I'm not damaging my Apple product. Because um, it, is, it is a concern about some of those um, chemicals with the touchscreens, particularly, I believe, the LCDs to make sure you're not using the wrong one because those could damage actually. Um, so like, I, I don't, I don't think you want to use the same stuff on your LCD television set, for instance, that might actually be not okay. I'm getting, I'm getting a head shake from Katie over there. Have you done that? No. <laughs> You're like, why is everything green? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> why is there a giant streak across, uh, Picard's forehead? I don't know. It's like when people would take a magnet to the old school tube TVs. Yeah. You would oh, get that like rainbow yeah. effect. Look you, at this. This is you cool. see that like, no you see that in some of the old tvs that replay fx in the console section where you're just like yeah, yeah it's it's just like i remember playing sonic with the green <laughs> hue on the right side yeah. that's how i watched my wrestling my, my wrestling in the back room on the small tv that I could receive it uh but anyways uh thanks amanda narcissi uh over at Pole pittsburgh for uh sharing that as well um she also shared this is another apple tv show um ain't bob's burger fans here yeah. yes yes yeah so mm-hmm. the makers of bob's burgers if i can get this to come up um also are doing a, a show called central park it's a musical animated comedy that's going to be on apple tv plus i don't know why i can't go full screen on this but you get the idea um yeah it's in the style it's a uh uh, uh, you know the the usual. Um, some mogul wants to develop on central on, on the only parkland in New York City, and uh, music hijinks ensue. So it looks good. I I never watched I watched a lot of Bob's Burgers, so I don't think I'm I'm in with the style for this. But I'm, I'm I, I familiar just with the show, but I've I've never watched it. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I appreciate the voice actor uh, whose name escapes me, but he also does Archer. So. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Um, and uh, um, uh, Kristen Bell's in it as well from uh, a, 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 good, a good place, the good place. Uh, so it's it's a pretty good cast. And if you're if you like musicals, you'll probably be down with this too. It, it, the variety of Apple Plus, seem, Apple TV Plus, seems to be expanding a little bit. Between this, the Beastie Boys um, documentary is going to be coming out as well. Like, there's enough. I don't know enough if I wasn't already getting it through a device to drop five dollars a month on necessarily but still like enough to be like eh, i'd like to get to that someday probably I, has yeah that- it's a good value good value yeah it is it is sorry sorry android guy <laughs> 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 so um let's see what else we got here from the facebook um uh riz uh, bad news e3 2020 canceled I'll try. It's such a blur. I don't know how many of these are from. Like, was this really in the last week? It seems like so much has happened with this. This was like dropped on. It was like at the last minute, problem. No, no, no. It was. It was. This article was dropped by Riz on, I believe, Wednesday or Thursday of last week. Okay. So it was before the shit really started to hit the fan <laughs> with all the cancellations. Yeah, yeah. And basically, it, 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 
it'd ahead. be shorter to come up with a list of conferences that are still on. <laughs> exactly. Like we're kind of doing that with the wrestling shows because it's like, well, this one, this one. No, just expect nothing running until we tell you they're running again. Because we we do a calendar for wrestling as well, and it's just like, I I just can't even keep up with this stuff at this point. So, um, out of all of them, this would be the most likely, I would think, for them to want to live stream or do something mm-hmm. to have people still participate and see their games well and the com- <laughs> and the companies of most of the companies uh, like the big ones at least apple and sony and, and nintendo already was doing it and, and sony i think was already not going to be there so mm. this is kind of a uh, uh pushes the trend perhaps <laughs> so yeah like let's all see a beta release like mm-hmm. let's, let's play that one level i mean that'd be cool but also like i think a lot of that is being served by the packs the penny arcade expos uh, as far mm-hmm. as like letting people get out, play demos, and and experience games, at least on the fan side. So maybe, you know, what could it be after this? So it'll so be interesting to see how it evolves. Um, hey, Dave Potter shares and uh, uh, Chilla. I'm, I'm sure you're probably keeping an eye on this, and I feel like I may have seen you share this as well. Apple's uh, Worldwide Developers Conference, we usually expect up here in June, is going to go to an online format and feature uh, the keynote and sessions connecting uh, all the developers. Uh, through that, I, Google I/O I think is going with a similar format as well. Of course, this is usually where we get our first look at the new uh, iOS uh, for the next year that we'll, we'll see sometime in the in the uh, fall. Uh, Chilla, have you been keeping up on this? Are you looking forward to, to see how this format goes? I'm interested to see how the format goes, and I'm also interested to see for long. To, I I've never been to WWDC personally, but I know a couple people that do go. I'm interested to see how this works because. I I understand, you know, going to the class or going to some of the the conversations, but how do you build those relationships with the hallway conversations that occur? How do you, that's the, that's the social aspect that I wonder how that all will continue to evolve and how those relationships will be built over time, as well as how do you track down the product owner or, you know, Apple engineer that knows the most about that one Mm -hmm. niche thing that you're looking to talk about or figure out. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of track them down there to get your questions answered that's I'm interested to see how that part plays out. Um, apparently, yeah. Zoom calls and Slack channels like Scott's always <laughs> doing, right? I was yes. going to say, they need the Scott McTaggart lunchroom. That's what they need. There you go. <laughs> uh, Missy, you, you shared a fun one. Oh, you go ahead and talk. She's busy over there. Um, so, so she shared this one. Uh, Pornhub, uh, this was a late development last week, um, is giving Italians uh, free premium access during the... Cor- cor- coronavirus quarantine i expect this to expand by the way if it hasn't already because they're usually on top of these things <laughs> so many bad jokes to make about this that, that <laughs> phrase, I'm we, gonna make, we usually I'm gonna make any of them <laughs> we usually get a fun show title out of a Pornhub um situation like this uh katie we haven't had you on with all the uh the uh coronavirus porn hub stories over the last few weeks have you been exploring what's going on there is there, are there any fun no. stats that have popped up? okay well i mean no, you, got a lot, you, you got a lot of time on your hands let's be honest <laughs> yeah i do have a lot of time. no i'm just wondering because I, I think i saw an article about the um about people doing like wearing all the garb and <laughs> those kind of porns that are happening now <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, that's a thing now. Oh, no. Now I just thought about Animal Crossing porn, and now I'm sad. Uh, you know it's probably out there, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, you you know this is, it's, yeah. Curiosity. There's a, there is a market. And Curiosity searches later. Um, well, yeah, what, well, what month is Anthrocon? When does that happen? Uh, that's ready? beginning of July. July. So, Ooh. but are they kind of okay? Because they have a protective layer. <laughs> that's true right if we, like like that might be the one conference that doesn't get canceled because we just it could have full-on ventilation in your seat yeah like, some of those guys need fans in there anyways right just to walk that parade yes be, there you go there's the new market everybody must have a suit for everybody's safety so it's like it's like a it's like a furry hazmat suit it's a fun hazmat suit. It's a and fun, <laughs> a fun hazmat suit. Thank. Let's let's put the fun in quarantine. Um, 
Anyways, uh, this was one. So th- well, this was four chilla um, concept board, Missy. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not clear on oh, where this came from. I actually that was shared from the uh, online academy class, was using that as a resource. So I have not used it, but they were attempting to use it for class. So it looked like something worth exploring. Okay, there you go. That might be for uh, so chilla. You're going to look into that. Yeah, I am going to look into it. The one thing that's interesting is. There's a free version. I'm interested to see how the free version work with as many people as you want. That seems pretty cool. The premium version, which gives unlock some additional capability, mm-hmm. six dollars per user per month. The, the, the so if you think this this like the four of us mm-hmm. wanted to carry this on, right? That's twenty four dollars a month. But, and of course, it's a little stiffer because, of, of course, you work with uh, uh, Big Bank International. Yeah, and that's, that's I got to worry about a... some compliance. But it's nice. I mean, they, they do single sign on it. It looks like they, I mean, they, they have some stuff there. So I am interested in looking at this. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, we got plenty of other things to touch on to entertain you guys here uh, during everything go on. And uh, of course, if you're looking for options, to help out a lot of people are kind of in upheaval trying to figure things out and i know we've been uh chatting with a few people uh really kind of lending monitors to people has been one service <laughs> unofficial service of what we're doing around here lately uh getting some friends of ours that are working from home going uh so chilla chilla we've we've passed we've passed on your your monitor donation by the way at least temporarily <laughs> for somebody to make sure it wasn't their computer making sure the home computers work and everything but if you're looking for options to help uh to can- connect during this uh covid 19 self-quarantine uh you know can't get everybody together but of course hey we got all the bells and whistles here look at what we're doing doing nobody's in this is a perfect kind of uh uh uh, example of that uh everybody's safe in their personal bunkers across the pittsburgh area here uh we're doing our part to socially distance but still be social with you uh over here uh uh, our in-house here at psychic media services have you covered with live stream options uh we do wrestling events when we're allowed to uh (laughs) and church services teleconferencing we actually did hook up a church um down in west virginia um with uh, uh some some live streaming capabilities that i'm sure they're very happy to have about now with everything going on um and uh but we got you covered with streaming options and or whatever uh you need to figure out uh for that we're actually having some conversations with people helping with their teleconferencing um capabilities uh since they don't really have them in-house and the need webinars uh things like that to kind of fill in the gaps so if you if you have that conference that you're looking trying to figure out how the heck am i going to do this without uh getting everybody down to i don't know a point park university or something uh give us a give us a ring over at sidekickmediaservices.com and we can help you put together uh something and help figure out because uh, everybody needs a superhero these days and we hope to be a sidekick to that project all right so let's see what else we got going on here uh ryan you had a yeah a few stories that um that you brought to the table here i, w- I wanted to you want to pick one out what's uh what's interesting out there oh gosh uh i mean part of it is just sharing like here's something you can do while you're stuck at home i think is where my brain was <laughs> i think that's where that's a lot way. of this is right now <laughs> That's that's what we all did today. Uh, so I'll actually just mention the one real quickly. Uh, Stephen Colbert, like a lot of the talk show hosts, are either you know still doing a show with no audience, or I guess this was him uh, doing part of his show or a segment from a bathtub. <laughs> what, is, what is this? <laughs> as 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 like in solidarity with people who were stuck at home, right? Uh, I was I was like wow, and so I don't know. I just it's funny oh, to see uh, he's wearing a suit from like broadcast tv over to more of like you know like an online influencer level of presentation it's a lot of fun uh, yeah because I, I know everybody was like we're just going to go with all audiences but it's then they're finding like i think cbs studios when um when i was looking at the well, i watched uh, john oliver this week and they were like yeah we were going to just do it with no audience and then we just couldn't do it at the studio so we're in a different studio doing the show uh, on a white background um, and I think that's, you know, obviously Colbert, a part of CBS, so that's probably the same facility. Um, Trevor Noah is is uh, uh, doing uh, video blogs from home, basically. Yeah. On his on the Daily Show YouTube, uh, where we'll talk, except we did last night and we will tonight on Wrestling Mayhem Show, WWE is doing empty arena shows from their Performance Center facility in Orlando. 
So, like, they can't even go to full sale and do them. And apparently, I went to the last full sale taping when I was down there a few weeks ago um, because they were already starting to do shows at Performance Center just to kind of show out the facility. And it's like, they were like, hey, just, just leave everything up to the point where WrestleMania that was going to be in the Buccaneer Stadium in Tampa Bay in front of like 60, 70,000 people will now be performed in a, an empty arena. Yeah. <laughs> it's fascinating how, how, what, what is happening here. So, um, the only other one I would mention there that was just something fun was, uh, I guess like aquariums being closed as well. The one in Monterey Bay has live streams up. So another thing, if you're going crazy, like being, you know, cabin fever, uh, it's a way to get some nature in your life. <laughs> I, I, I saw where there was, I think, was it 12 museums that you can tour virtually nice. from any VR headset or even from your browser. So I, I'll have to, I'll, awesome. I'll try to dig up the link and put it, put it in the uh, group after the show. But I, I know I saw it somewhere and I think even our, local school district included it in one of the communications like your kids are bored send them to the this um online i've also i think the local library today did started a a uh, reading story time with harry potter i think it was today nice. so. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really cool nice i say there's a lot of options for that uh that's awesome uh, i've been sharing every time i see it I, I last night i decided to start following the, the pittsburgh uh zoo because they, they're throwing out the penguin cam and i can't remember if it was them or somebody else but they actually let the penguins out to visit the other exhibits <laughs> mm-hmm. that was that was fun to watch for a little bit so like oh good you know at least they're they're getting um they're getting they're 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 they're, they're, they're making the most of this good good luck penguins uh boy i was yelling at birds today and those people saw it on Twitter. This is this is how we are. Um, anyways, what else do we got going on here, guys? <laughs> uh, Katie, anything from the list that you want to hit up here? Oh, so I, I uh, two things. I, I saw your headspace is now free. The headspace is up. It's free for healthcare professionals. Yes. And then uh, the one that I use is Stop, Breathe, Think. Mm-hmm. Um, they actually have a curated list called Calming Coronavirus Anxiety, and it's usually oh. it's, it's some premium ones. And uh, it's free for the next 60 days. But Stop, okay. Breathe, Think has plenty on there for free beyond the 60 days. I love it. It's my favorite. This it's is... Good. Go ahead, Ryan. Are these meditation apps or yeah. what are these? Yes. Sorry. Oh, okay. they're, cool, there's cool. meditation. There, um, meditation. There's even... Um, what are, there's some yoga on there. And it's, it's pretty cool. Nice. Much needed. I know some people are under a lot of stress. We actually did have um, uh, Jim Mellermeyer came in. We did an extra episode of Fishing Without Bait to kind of talk about things um, over there. So if you need a good discussion to help kind of get your head straight with things, hopefully it helps out over there. Um, yeah, that's 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 a big thing, especially uh, the big thing. And I know I am guilty of this. Just get off Facebook for a while, guys. Yeah. <laughs> just Just get away from it because I know it's a lot of stuff coming at us right now. And it's kind of like, okay, what's next? Um, but uh, but uh, but it's not healthy in the end. And uh, and and just kind of take time, step away. Like you know, if you're there at home, don't have CNN, Fox News, whatever on all day. No matter you know what it is, it's just that barrage, you know. And there's like part of us that wants to feed that. And that ends up, I think, getting damaging at the end. That's something I'm trying to cope with myself. So mm-hmm. um, let's see what else we got here. Sorry, I'm reloading over here. Chilla, you got anything else you want to say? Hey, one of the things I thought was interesting, and it's not out yet, but it's in beta right now, is we've covered movies anywhere, um, I think multiple times on the show. So for those of you who aren't familiar, movies anywhere, you load up movies anywhere, sign in with your Google account, your Microsoft account, your Fandango Now, your Verizon, your Xfinity, your Prime Video, or your Apple account. And it lets you take a large number of movies that you would have purchased on any service and unlocks it across all services. Um, they are adding a the ability to lend movies from your library. Really? Um, they're calling it Screen Pass. So with Screen Pass Movie Anywhere, users will be able to share up to three films per month, giving temporary access to the recipient. The user will have seven days to accept the offer. 
which will give them access to the film for 14 days. Hmm. Much like a rental, like renting from one of the services, once started, recipients will have 72 hours to finish the film. Hmm. Um, the three share limit resets on the first of every month. Um, so it's not based on your, your it's, it's personal like, dates of, of any subscriptions. or It's anything like, like running that. your own personal hoopla. Yes. <laughs> like, like for the library, right? Like your own little lending library. Yeah. yeah, that was yeah. Pretty cool. the, the inter- and, you know, it's in their closed beta, which will hit their open beta mm-hmm. um, in their estimating May. But if you know anyone on any of the beta programs with them, they anyone in the betas can share with anyone. It doesn't have to be only other beta users. Um, so those beta people can share with with any movie anywhere user today. So I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I've seen it. It seems like a lot of the media companies, uh, whether it be Disney Plus or or whomever, are either releasing content early. Um, reducing the price of content i saw i can't remember what movie studio it was was going to do 20 dollars rentals for at simultaneous you know based on simultaneous uh, movie theater release or mm-hmm. yeah what would be would have would have been planned the theatrical release um so I, I feel like a lot of people are trying to give people something to do um, and, and i think there's a, great like we're considering because we have a list and I already put mine on hold for next month because I'm like, well, the theaters aren't going to be open. Um, so, but, you know, what are they going to do in the meantime, right? <laughs> for everybody, mm-hmm. you know, it, 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 you know, of course, the big stuff. Fast, Fast 9 just got delayed for a year. I got to wait a year to find out if John Cena is good at a Fast and the Furious video, <laughs> movie. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, Black Widow's only a few months down the road. So. Yeah, you know, it's like, yeah, it's like a month down the road, a month and a half down the road, I guess. But uh, yeah, so, so there's some disruptions there. But, and of course, productions. This is going to be something we're going to feel for a while in the entertainment world, at least. Um, you know, not to mention where we're seeing, you know, our, of course, our ongoing discussion with the wrestling side. Um, Chilla, you shared something speaking, we've talked a lot about video games, but there's some a video game company is actually looking at a way to kind of, uh, help with the situation, right? Yeah. I thought there's, this was interesting and it, I mean, I read the article twice before I thought about posting it because I was like, uh, is this just someone trying to, um, build a virus their own computer virus um <laughs> so there's there's a group called folding at home mm-hmm. and i didn't, wasn't aware this was actually released back in the day um even for like the ps3 mm-hmm. um but what it does is it allows you to use your spare gpu clock cycles um to be put for good one of the things they're looking at is simulating potentially druggable protein targets for covid19 um so it'll actually let you kind of donate your GPU time um, for trying to solve the current COVID-19 um, problems that were occurring and potentially come up with hopefully a vaccine. So I thought it was pretty cool. If you have any kind of NVIDIA um, graphics card, you can run this on your nice. on your rig and, and donate some CPU or GPU time. I've seen this done in the past with GPU as well, mm-hmm. from like a grid computing perspective. Um, but and, I thought it was pretty cool. I say folding, yeah, folding was like DNA, like was like DNA searching, right? Like DNA folding originally. Mm-hmm. And this is kind of similar to the SETI and home that was processing all the um, looking for uh, uh, life on other planets uh, uh, that just recently ended, actually. So um, yeah, it's hey, if you got it, if you got that power machine, you know, if you can help uh, get this thing solved faster. Uh, hop in, uh, throw your CPU cycles at it. Stop that's, making that's those. That's like the, the Red Cross asking you to give blood with your computer, kind of. Yes. <laughs> yeah. we, we need your donation today. <laughs> give the give the give the the teraflop blood. Give your teraflops to just have just have your orange juice ready. Yes. <laughs> Do you get a cookie at the end? Do I get a digital cookie? Yeah, no, actually, we're all getting cookies. I just accepted one Perfect. on one of those sites. Um, yeah, so, so, yes, you are. Anyways, um, my mother uh, actually uh, shared in here, Scholastic is having a learning for streaming for kids. Um, and there was something else. I'm not sure what that was. Um, but related to that, uh, uh, real quick before we get out of here, uh, uh, Ryan, can you tell us what Kiva's doing with a webinar here? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, Kiva is a national lender, but they do have their uh, Pittsburgh branch here and basically, you know, $5,000, $10,000 crowdsourced business loans with no interest. And the webinar is just a way for people to learn about it. If you're you know, running a business or uh, whether it's an at-home business or, you know, brick and mortar or whatever the case may be, they're looking to give people more insight into that. And they've done uh, at least one of these webinars so far. So I think they are planning on doing more. But this is just a link to sign up for the one that's happening tomorrow night. So, I mean, it's a big thing. I think a lot of people are jumping on this, you know, like like we're seeing Scott doing and 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 figuring out the, you know, everybody's looking for ways to uh, still move forward uh, in everything going on. So, you know, and that probably creates well, a greater opportunity to kind of access a lot of these tools. Yeah, and you mentioned support small business, and this would be like a really direct way. Absolutely. Uh, if a small Absolutely. business sets up a campaign to be able to, you know, if you're not able to go in and actually buy something, you're giving some money to stay afloat. So, mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, one last thing I want to get a little, little public service announcement. Well, I, I did say um, kind of get yourself off social media. One thing I've done to try to be a little bit more responsible, more responsible with my information gathering uh, I discovered in one of the alerts, uh, we're in Allegheny County here, um, uh, uh, in the, you know, outside Pittsburgh, around, well, Pittsburgh is in Allegheny County. If you're not here, I know we got a couple out of staters that listen to the show. Um, and this may apply to you as well, but for us, especially since we're, uh, the updates are just kind of turning up, it seems here in our area over the last uh, couple of days, uh, with cases and such, but there is an app called Everbridge, E-V-E-R Bridge. Um, and if you go in there, you sign up, you have to fill out and sign up for it. Um, it's, and, uh, and if you look up Allegheny County and you'll probably see if your county is a part of this as well, and it will actually give you push alerts, um, to, uh, uh you know, you can, you can make like general alerts like, Hey, let me know when there's a disaster or there's something wrong with my trash or something. Uh, but there's also the, uh, specifically a COVID-19 uh, listing in there. So if you want kind of an unfiltered, what is my government telling me to do? And regardless of what do you think of what's happening at the national scale, really a lot of these local governments are stepping up and, and giving more direct um, direction, I guess, like even to the point where I saw a notice about, um, Hey, if you're a dental practitioner, this is what you should do as part of this. So I think it's going to give a more on the ground look at what is happening around you. If you are signed up for this app and not the thing and not having to go through filtering through Twitter and Facebook on what's real, what applies to you, et cetera, et cetera, if that makes sense. So I, no, that's I, awesome. I rec recommend that against the Everbridge app. I know Allegheny County is a part of it and I recommend uh, uh, seeing that and see if your county is a part of that as well. So, all right. Whew. That was a lot. It was, we, we didn't even get through half the stories. There's a lot going on, of course. <laughs> There's a lot of stories that are a lot more fun before everything happened. Uh, so uh, let me know how you guys are playing Doom out there are doing. I think my brother's been playing that lately. I've been playing Doom 3 because it was on sale last week. Uh, John Chichilla. Oh, no, that's Katie. Hey, Katie. <laughs> What's going on? Where can people keep up on what's been going on with you? Uh, there's a cat behind me sleeping. Uh, I've been I've been at more active on Instagram, uh, Kate Marie PGH, yes. because it's just pictures. Yes. <laughs> I need to. I, I tell everybody, like, oh, I'll see you on Facebook, and I haven't been back to Facebook since posting anything, just because it's you know everything went the heck. And it's a lot happening there. You're 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 and you're definitely at that point where you're um um creatively uh <laughs> being creative in your in your uh, uh self imposed house arrest. So I'm trying. Do you have any tips? Oh, and go ahead. Helpful, helpful thing. Uh, social media, unfollow and hide people everywhere across social media, <laughs> all your platforms when you just can't deal with them anymore. Oh, yes. Don't even waste your time with your feed. Yes. <laughs> even, yes. If you can't unfriend them, unfollow them or whatever you need to do for the next 30 days to keep them quiet. Be liberal with the mute and unfollow button mm -hmm. is the biggest social media advice. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. As then I, that'll get you that'll help get you through uh john chichilla at chilla on the twitter chillatech.net uh john chilla on the facebook uh ryan where can people find what's going on with you they can find me on awesome cast on tuesday nights no uh <laughs> <laughs> no uh i do uh haggerty media oh wow there's a 
fuzzy, fuzzy. Hey, uh, Sharon Cash but, there too. Sorry about that. There you go. This is Merlin. So uh, you can find me on Crazy Cat Guy now. Uh, I'm actually <laughs> Haggerty Media on Instagram and also uh, on Facebook. Uh, you can just find me, Ryan Haggerty, where I'm sharing things, talking about events, and, and trying not to get political because, yeah, there's, there's too many other important <laughs> things going on right now. Don't make me <laughs> mute you. Don't make us mute you, Ryan. <laughs> Yeah, but no, I mean, I, I do appreciate coming on tonight uh, and having the time to kind of talk to everybody about what they were doing to stay sane and, and mm-hmm. some of the things they're finding helpful because, uh, yeah, it's helped me too. So I appreciate it. Excellent. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Producer Missy, for helping uh, keeping keeping the ship going and uh, getting the links in the chat room tonight. Uh, and uh, thank you, you guys, for joining us uh, again. A lot of the conversation. If you guys uh, have anything that's helping you, get you through, have any tips, have any um, tools that are helping you through the work at home or the sanity keeping uh, during this process, please, um, uh, again, uh, uh, share it with the Awesome Cast uh, Facebook group. We can have some discussions about it. And uh, please go check out, again, uh, what uh, Scott McTaggart's doing and everything else. And, and, and support everybody. Again, everybody gets through this together. And we hope we have a little part of uh, uh, you guys having fun and uh, and uh, staying informed as we're doing this. So, uh, in a more positive way, I hope. Uh, thank you, everybody in the chat room. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.